Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover what is collectivity. So in Kamunda, we are seeing lot of tasks, right? So if you see the user tasks, service tasks, similar like that, call activity is also one of the tasks actually. Okay. So what basically it will do? It will take care of calling. I mean, it is take care of calling from one BPM into another BPM. And if you see the definition, call activity is used to call from one BPM to another BPM. What it means basically? So your control is going in one BPM file and inside one process right so you want to call another bpm and file in another process right so with the help of call activity you can do that okay so that your control will carry forward from one file into another file bpm is nothing but one of the file right so in your stops actually so that is what it means okay so it will control it will move the control from one BPM and file into another BPM and file basically. Okay. It means one process into another process, which will, which is there in the different, different files. Okay. So this is what we will call it as a call activity. Let's see a small example to understand more clearly what it is do and how it will work. Okay. Let's jump into Commodore modeler. Okay. So this is Commodore modeler. Actually, I would like to draw a small diagram to make sure you are understanding very clear okay so for example you are having just assume that one user task okay so next you are trying to draw the call activity so here you can see that sim along with the task you can see the tab called call activity just like that it will show you the nice diagram with the plus symbol okay and i'm just ending up with the flow okay so similar like this i am creating trying to create a new new bp1 file okay so new bpm file this is one bpm file same way i'm trying to create a new bpm file if here you just assume that you are having one user task or you are just end up with the flow okay so this is the way you will have multiple files right this is one file and this is another file so two different files are having two different process right correct okay so now so i have a task right so here my process will get started so the user task will come and it will create a task in your uh, what is there where is that your cockpit right so then your control will move to call activity from here i need to call this bpm1 file and this process okay so how i can do if you see that with the help of this call activity so you need to do you need to add small more uh, configurations okay so if you click here you can see that right side that the call d element okay that is the first thing you need to understand that okay so here you need to mention you need to call the bpm or cmm don't worry about cmm that is different part we no need to worry about it we are just trying to call the bpm file you just mentioned that the call d element this is nothing but this bpm id you will have the id of this bpm right so you will have this id this id basically you need to mention it here okay so keep it as a latest so that whenever you are deploying some new changes that will get called okay so along with this this is just to configure the file right so once you've done that if you execute it it will work perfectly but you will face on issue right so you just assuming that you are you are in this flow right you created couple of variables in this user task okay so we you need those variables also in this process okay so just assume that your use case is something like that so in that case how it will work will it work or not okay so basically if you are doing similar setup whatever as of now is shown it will not work okay you need to add one more configuration to pass the variable from this bpm file into this bpm file you need to add a small additional configuration which is nothing but out mapping propagation you need to click all where all that's it actually so this is the one thing you need to do it additionally to pass all the variables from your one bpm file into another bpm file okay let me show you a small example which i draw already okay and i have a child bpm similar like whatever we draw just now right i'm just closing these two files and trying to open here two more new files which i already draw the same thing 
here you can see this is my parent bpm file here i have the like parent user task okay if this is a user task we can validate this task after that i am trying to call my child bpm file okay so if you see that my called element i have a child so if i open here and if i show you here you can see that child right so then the as i told you earlier so i have the output propagation i just added all variables as well as local variable so this is the one thing you need to add e even you can include this propagate all variables in this in mapping as well okay this is the configuration okay that's all actually then you can see the child service so here i have a small uh, like i mean so so service task is there so there i have some implementation of some testing class i will show you what it is there then i have a one user task okay so here i have a form field of user okay and this here i am trying to auto populate the username so where this is coming from if you see that this is my parent task right so here i have a form, form field so here i have the username okay so this username from the parent okay so i am trying to auto populate it under child vpm okay let's try that if okay so will it work out or not okay so i'm just trying to open the eclipse okay so i i'll try to delete couple of items here okay so to more to make make it more clear okay so okay so this is we will mention as a inside testing class okay so don't worry about it. okay so I'll, I'll show you very direct workflow example i'm just closing my ppt okay so that it will be more clear and understandable for you okay so i have a bpm file parent as child and child okay so the child having one user task so that for that i just having a testing class which i created here okay so now let's try to run this bpm file okay i mean this application okay i need to open a yeah, chrome Meanwhile. okay so you know right localhost 8080 is our cockpit ui my application i am trying to run it okay so it is started my tomcat okay and okay so everything started mapping everything is fine okay now let me go and hit it again okay it is providing the admin admin right sorry i think minus vino vino okay i am trying to log in i have the task list right so you can see that as of now the timer start is i am trying to start the parent process okay and i'm just clicking on the start so if you refresh this you can see the parent task correct so i'm just claiming this task here i'm just trying to mention the tech bus tech bus okay let it be like that okay and let me try to save this task before that let me just clear the logs okay so after saving okay so if you see that it is created just few seconds ago child task meanwhile if you see that inside techbus blocks this is my java class okay and the username i am trying to print it out techbus whatever i am passing okay so you can see the diagram so let me open the cockpit as well to understand it more clear okay so i started the parent process right so this is my parent process right here i have one child task okay so now let me open my child okay here this this is under this stage so you can clearly see that we are under the parent process so this was completed and now we are in the child process child process when i open it is having a one user task okay it was completed the service task service task was completed i am just confirming you based on the logs okay now let me try to claim the child task let's see that see whenever i'm trying so you can see that username is techbus which i provided in the another bpm and i mean another process right so as this is the child process i can get the variables based on 
what is that my propagation configuration right so propagation configuration this configuration okay so now i can change this as well take those blocks i'm just giving you text blocks now i can even complete this task okay so it was gone so if you now go and refresh this you cannot see that task here if you just refresh this you cannot see it means the task was completed right hope you understood that how our call activity is working right so just feel free to add your comments if you have any queries okay just put it in your comments and i will try to respond as soon as possible okay thanks guys thanks for watching thank you bye bye